Hello, welcome to this lecture on control structure in C. Until we have studied, there are uh, so many condition operator we used for checking the variable or for condition checking like equal to, not equal to, less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to. In this lecture, we will see the control structure in C like if else statement, while, do while, for loop, switch, jump, all these are the, uh, all these are for condition checking. In if else statement, we have the two form of if else statement. The first one is with the else or without else. The first one is only if statement. The if statement is used for condition checking. The syntax is if expression then statement or we use if condition is true then go to the statement 1 otherwise go to the statement 2. The decision making is used to specify the order in which statements are executed. The if statement evaluate the expression inside the parenthesis if the test expression is evaluated to true that is non-zero statement inside the body of the if is executed if the test expression is evaluated to false that is zero the statement inside the body of the if is skipped from the execution the example here in a and b if a is less than b uh, if this condition is true, it will print A is greater than B and if false, it will print B is greater than A. Uh, this is the flow chart of if else statement. The next statement is the while statement. The while is used for The loop are used in programming to repeat a specific block of code. After uh, condition checking, it first uh, evaluate the condition. If it is true, then go to the statement. If it is false, it go to the another statement. Means it repeats a specified block of code. In this particular scenario, int x is equal to 2. While x is greater than or equal to 2, in again it will check x is equal to equal to 2 then it print again it go for the next iteration that is for x is equal to 3 again it check likewise the code is repeated this is the example of y loop y product is less than or equal to 1000 this loop is repeated until and unless the value of the product is equal to 1000 The do while loop. The, it is similar to the while loop. The do while loop is similar to the while loop with one important difference. The body of the do while loop is executed at least once before checking the test expression. Hence, the do while loop is executed at least once. All the conditions are uh, performed at least once. The syntax is first is do then in curly braces number of statement and after that the while condition is checking. Uh, this loop is executed at least once. When the condition is true again it will execute it. This is the flow chart or the graphical representation of the do while loop. This is the example of do while loop. Next one is the for loop statement. The for loop, the, uh, it is uh, same as the while loop, but only difference is that in for loop, we initialize or we uh, bunch initialization, condition and iteration in one expression. This loop is 
are used in programming to repeat a specified block until some end condition is met. Uh, in the syntax of for loop is first is initialization, then condition, and then iteration. And this is the example of the for loop. Again, this is a nested loop. In nested loop, we nested the condition or we nest the uh, looping statement. Like all the other programming languages, we allow this nested loop that is one loop inside the another loop. The next statement is the uh, next statement is the switch uh, switch statement. Uh, like if uh, likewise in if else statement, if we are checking one uh, on the value of a single variable in if else it is better to use the uh, switch statement switch statement is often faster than the nested if else statement also the syntax of the switch statement is easy to understand this is the syntax of switch statement uh, here we are uh, checking the variable uh, values so case value one case value two and the number of statement and the break statement this is the uh, simple example of a switch. In switch, uh, we use this. Uh, these are the number of jump statements. C supports these four types of jump statement. The first one is break, second one is continue, return, and then go to. This statement transfer the control to the another part of your program. The first one is break statement. The break statement terminate the loop that is for loop, while loop, do loop immediately when it encounters. The break statement is used with the decision making statement such as if else statement. This is the simple example of the break statement. When this break statement encounter, it terminates the loop. The next is the and the next is the continue statement. The continue statement skip some statement inside the loop. The continue statement is used with decision making statement such as if else statement. The syntax is we use only continue word. Here this continue it skip the remaining statement and go for the next iteration in the loop. The next is the Next is the return statement. Uh, in return statement is used to explicitly return any value from the method. That is, it causes program control to transfer back to the caller of the method. The following example illustrates this point here. The return causes the execution to the return to the C. Since it is runtime system that calls the main function. This is the example of the return. Here we use the return word. It returns the value to the caller function. Next is the go to statement. It is possible to jump to any statement within the same function using go to. This is the label is used to mark the destination of the jump. Go to label and here we are using this label statement. Means when there, this statement occur, it go to directly, it go to this statement. And this is the example of go to. Thank you.